the interactions that we have with that particular tribe. Now, leadership. Leadership is so important because we have to change our thinking at that paradigm shift. You need to appreciate sovereignty. And people don't really understand that sovereignty is inherent. Inherent means it's always been there. Mick Isham from the Lacoudere tribe in, in uh, Wisconsin will tell you, if you're with an organization you come up to me and tell me that we gave you sovereignty, he says, I'm going to go ballistic. Because the government did not give the tribe sovereignty. It's inherent. It's something they've always had. Sovereignty was affirmed in the U.S. Constitution. In the Commerce Clause of the Constitution, sovereignty is defined as where it says Congress has the authority to regulate trade between foreign nations, states, and Indian tribes. Put them in the same category as states and foreign nations. That's where sovereignty comes from, was reaffirmed in the Constitution. And then it was validated by the Supreme Court in the 1850s. So a lot of people today say, well, these treaties don't mean a whole lot. They don't, they are important. These treaties and everything and sovereignty means everything. It's extremely important that we acknowledge sovereignty and we, we uh, respect the sovereignty. So, when we have no formal authority over these tribes, our focus now needs to be on how to do effective communications. It means how do we honor the cultural protocols, and it means how do we build trust and strong business relationships with tribes. So, there's a number of ways to do it. It's how we communicate. There's a lot of leadership skills in communication. For example, how we listen, how we ask questions. One of the biggest things I teach people, you never go to a tribe and say, we have this great program for you, and it's going to be great for you, and you can do all these wonderful things for you because. Folks, for 200 years, the government has been coming in telling tribes all these great things they have for them, and look where it's led a lot of people. So I, I counsel people that you walk into a tribe and you say, I have this program. Would you share with me whether it may or may not benefit you, and those types of ideas. So we, we need to change our thinking. It's how we make statements, make business and decisions, and collaborate and all this. Let's hear perspective. But then I tell people not to come in.